The carnivore diet is not only the best diet for overall health through removing inflammation and achieving maximum nutrient density, it's also the best diet for gaining weight and losing weight. In this video, we're going to focus on gaining weight and how, even without resistance training, most people on this diet improve their body composition drastically. And, you know, there are a select few people who need to incorporate training and outside factors to either gain or lose weight, and that's what we're going to focus on this video, mainly the resistance training. And the reason the zero carb carnivore diet is by far the best diet for gaining weight and gaining lean body mass is because there is no other diet that allows you to maintain such a low body fat level, put on as much muscle at that rate, as well as be in optimal energy levels. To me, there's really nothing that comes close, and it really does make a lot of sense once you look into it and once you try it yourself. So the first point we need to touch on is the importance of resistance training. And you have to understand that there's a baseline of lean body mass that a natural indigenous person has. Maybe in the context of modern society, a manual laborer might have slightly more than this. But most people are below baseline in regards to lean body mass. So what we need to achieve is this amount of lean body mass as quickly and as easily as possible then you could maintain it, you could go into looking into other fitness routines, but at that point, you will have enough lean body mass to achieve your ideal health. Then we can tackle it, you know, if you guys want to check out the weight losing video, I'll do that one tomorrow. That might apply to some of you as well as this, because this is not only focused on gaining weight, it's mainly focused on gaining lean body mass, because that is the goal. You know, you when people say they want to gain weight, they want to gain lean body mass. They don't want to put five pounds of fat on their belly, at least in most cases. So the best way to achieve this lean body mass is through a high volume, high intensity hypertrophy routine. Because as you can imagine, 10 years of sedentary activity, if you're only working out for one hour a day, how are you gonna make that up? You know, there's routines like five by five and strong lifts and CrossFit, calisthenics, all those things are great. But in order to, those might get you to your goal in two, three years, who knows how long, but you can achieve your lean body mass goal in several months to a year if you're on the right routine. And I can't go into specifics because I do offer consultations and sell my routine, but to basically sum it up, high volume, high intensity, you, I mean, yeah, initially when you're starting, you wanna work on your stability and not go too heavy, but you can pretty much jump right into a fairly high volume hypertrophy routine uh, if you do a little bit of research. Now, outside of the resistance training aspect, that would pretty much solve all the problems for people. But one thing I need to clarify is you do not need to consume an excess of calories on a gaining weight for lean body mass diet. When I was doing the physique competition, I would consume, I was actually on a raw meat diet too. So to say that you need to cook your food to increase palatability and consume more, that's not necessarily true. And I was eating about a pound and a half of muscle meat with a stick of butter and a little bit of liver and salmon rope twice a day. So maybe 3,000 to 3,500 calories per day uh, for someone who had a very high lean body mass compared to most people. And that was adequate for me. And I never at any point consumed more food than I wanted to. I never stuffed myself. I never overate. I always ate a relatively comfortable amount of food. So if you're saying, oh, do Frank, do I need to drink raw milk? Should I put honey on my fat? Should I overeat? You don't need to do any of those things. Uh, and in order to explain this, I have to understand caloric allotment versus expenditure and just because you burn and use a certain amount of calories doesn't necessarily mean that your body needs X amount more calories depending on the activity. If I run 10 miles, it's not going to be 10 times more calories than if I run one mile. That's not how your body works. You know, calories in, calories out, to me, although it has helped a lot of people, it's not a good concept in the context of this diet and I'll go further in detail into that in the losing weight video. but. People definitely need to understand that you can gain a surprising amount of lean body mass on a low amount of calories. I guess the next thing to touch on is, uh, you know, do I need to increase palatability? Should I increase my palatability? And that's up to you. You know, I can maintain 150, 155 pounds and keep putting on lean body mass, or I can maintain 160, 165 pounds. That threshold of whether or not you increase your caloric intake artificially or by eating more than you want to, you'll just maintain a higher body weight. You're not gonna you're not gonna gain weight quicker, you're just your base body weight will be slightly higher. Maybe you'll be around 14% body fat instead of like 11 to 12% body fat. 
I did take creatine. I don't really want to touch on that. It definitely helps with exercise performance, but I don't do anything that's not natural anymore. So that's out. Uh, the carbohydrate intake on this diet for sports performance, you guys have to mess around with that. I know Sean Baker does hasn't. I don't know if he's tried anything, but I know he doesn't need it, and he that guy's an animal. Uh, I've noticed that consuming a meal before my workout helps, but I messed around with honey and it didn't really help. Uh, so if you really are a high performance athlete, maybe initially going into this diet using uh, carbohydrates might help performance, but I haven't seen anything to me that indicates that carbohydrates will improve performance drastically because you know, the liver stores like th at least 3,500 calories worth of glycogen before every workout. Uh, but I will say a meal definitely helps. Uh, regardless of whether it's zero carb or not. Uh, the next thing to touch on I guess would be electrolytes and yeah this is a much bigger discussion than I want to get into in this video but most people do need to add a little bit of salt. I think a lot of people on zero carb have potassium and magnesium deficiencies. Maybe a little bit of calcium too partly due to soil demineralization, partly due to high salt consumption. Uh, definitely things worth mentioning and considering. I do have a bunch of other videos on electrolytes that you guys can check out and you know the electrolyte thing is definitely something you want to do more research on yourself. It's a very very big topic and even difficult at my stage of experience for me to understand completely. Although I do understand natural electrolyte ratios, it's hard to gauge how they apply to like an indigenous diet that might have been high in seafood or shellfish. Uh, I guess to just sum everything up, you know, incorporate resistance training, increase your lean body mass is the goal. You don't have to consume an excess amount of calories. Things like carbohydrate intake and electrolyte intake can be tapered depending on the individual. Although I really don't think that you should even look at carbohydrates unless you're a high performance athlete. And then, I mean, of course, you know, the foods you're eating, the inflammation that your diet has, those are things that also can tie into this that are not specific to the goal of this video. If you guys would like to consult me for fitness routines or anything, my email is in the comments. I usually do 8, 12, or 16 week consults including diet and workout. Uh, on my Patreon guys, I'm actually going to do my hygiene products in a couple weeks. I'm going to finalize them and I'm going to give out samples for my Patreon supporters. I'm going to do a whole video on that in a couple weeks so that's one cool thing to look forward to. I'll show you guys my Master Chef dish. I know this is a carnivore channel, so I don't know if I should actually share or publish that video as a one-off video for a day, but it's, it's, you know, it's fairly interesting with my culinary background, and you know, definitely a lot of things to look forward to in the next few weeks to a few months. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to support me, hey, please just share the channel. I don't really care if you guys do anything else, and hey, I guess you don't even have to do that, right? But you know, leave a comment below. Let me know what videos you would like to see in the future. We're going to do losing weight tomorrow. We'll talk about facial development this weekend, and we'll do Frankie the Fennel is going to make a little comeback on Sunday. I'm sure you guys, some of you guys might think that's funny, some of you guys might not, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week.